but now is the time to really figure out what we're going to do the next time an outage occur outage occurs effective incident response and customer communication helps minimize downstream damage one of the things i always recommend my uh, recommend my clients do is have some sort of a playbook uh, if one of these outages occurs in other words number one Think about mechanisms you can put in place to provide failover capabilities. So in other words, if your cloud provider goes down and that is criti a critical system that has to run and you're going to get hugely impacted if it doesn't keep running, you know, as we saw during the AWS outage, you're able to fail over to another system, uh, to an on-prem uh, on prem alternative, uh, another cloud provider, another region, what have you, depends on your situation. But now is the time to really figure out what we're going to do the next time an outage occur, outage occurs. And hopefully do a couple of things. Number one, we assess the risk. Number two, we look at our existing, you know, as is state and figure out a to be state that's gonna be much less, much less risky. We're able to distribute the load and therefore distribute the risk among different uh, IT assets. And also figure out and have a plan, just break glass kind of thing, if this happens again, who you're going to communicate with, how you're going to react to it and respond to it, who you're going to talk to at your cloud provider or providers, uh, you know, how you're going to test the systems, how you're going to fail over to another IT asset uh, that may be able to take over the majority of the processing so you don't get damaged as much from these things. Because I remember, you're not going to get a lot of money back, if any money back from these things. And really, you have to fend for yourself. <laughs> and so understanding that, uh, now's the time to do the planning as to what's going to happen during the next outage. I know some people have playbooks for outages and hacks and, you know, things like that. I, I and certainly most enterprise global 2000 enterprise companies have that most, uh, it leaders recommend that be done and they, they make sure it's done. My feeling is that many of those aren't e either aren't updated or they're not, um, current and they're not living up to best practices out there. So now's the time to review those, see if they need to be updated or created from new. Um, because if you don't have a plan, like the old saying goes, you're going to plan to fail. And I suspect we're going to see this again, uh, probably sooner rather than later.